Okay, very important and potent aspect of this is called kneeling. It's one of the first things that I got taught and it was one of the most effective. Okay, here we go. I'll set you up. Alright. What's up? Okay, so undoing leg tension is super important and it starts with the feet. So, kneeling. Tops of the feet on the floor like this. When I first started this, I was like up here and my ankles were off the ground and all this. So it wasn't super cozy for starters and it takes time. But, uh, in, in tops of the feet. If you have daylight in between your ankles and the floor, don't just sit on it and think, oh, the weight is going to, you know, it's good. it'll help it be more flexible. No. If your ankles are off the floor, if there's daylight under there and there's tightness, you don't use your body weight and think, you know, to press down on it more. You get, you got to work with where you're at. So you get something soft or something and build up to the level that you're at, even a little bit higher. So like I said in the other videos, your brain can rest. The messages from your body aren't saying, whoa, this is a bit much. They're saying, oh, I'm cool like this. And... Because you're cool like that, the, the, the tension release and the catharsis can take shape in, in the tissues of your body. Okay, so you build up the level of support to where your ankles are at if necessary. Also, between your butt and your heels, if it's too much, if it's too loud in the knees and it makes you sore. Like I said before, my knees, like I was a wreck and I couldn't go much further than this. But So what I had to do... As you build up, you take your sweet clothes and build up so it's a level high enough underneath you so you can just sit, sit, sit and chill. Uh, all right, so between ankles and floor, between heels and butt, right on. Second part of this process, toes underneath. You curl them toes underneath and it, it accesses a different line you know, of tissue tension. So the toes underneath, rad. You can spin your heels away from each other to get the little toes a bit more and just hang out. Or you can spin your heels towards each other to get your big toes, the tension of the big toes. Like I said before, you don't want to be pressing and trying to defeat the tightness. It doesn't work like that. What you want to do is have your hands on the floor as leverage and come away from your toes so it runs out of the red zone with the tightness, the sensation of tightness. Come out of the red zone just a touch and hang out. Spin your heels away or in to get the different toes. Also in this position, you can press your toes down into the floor, press your toes down and then relax them and then press them down and relax them and try to just, when your heels are away, press your pinky toes down, when your heels are towards, Press your big toes down, because engaging and then relaxing and engaging and relaxing helps the whole muscle group relinquish the tightness uh, on in, in every link of the chain, rather than just, if I were to just stay here, the first, the, the first thing that's going to give up its tension is the muscles, because the muscles are the softest. The tendons and, you know, the, the ligaments and all this stuff, you're going to feel that a lot, but like... The, they're going to hold on. It's a different texture than the muscle tissue. So when you engage the whole group by pressing the toes down and then relax, you're calling upon all the tissues of the group. And then when you relax them, you know they can. The messengers are sent. Hey, you guys can let this go now. They're all. You will. You will relinquish the tightness faster. Okay. There we are. So kneeling, tops of the feet, toes underneath. Do it before you go to bed every night. If, if, if need be, do it when you wake up in the morning. But rock some kneeling and it'll feel super, super, super good. Okay, later. I, I have had head. But I usually do. Live the dream, baby.